Hey, kids, do you know what that is? That is our galaxy, the Milky Way. But you all must be wondering, what are all those sparkling lights? They are the stars. Do you see that? That bright light is our solar system. That is where we live. So, let's take a closer look at our solar system. Our solar system is like a big family. The sun is the boss, and the planets are its kids, each spinning in its unique way. They may be different sizes and colors, but they all stick together, thanks to the sun's gravity. Here's another cool way to look at the solar system. It's like a map showing how far the planets are from the sun. We will learn about our amazing solar system, one stop at a time. All the planets move around the sun like they're playing a giant game of follow the leader. Mercury runs super fast, like it's in a big hurry, while Neptune is way at the back, taking its sweet time. Neptune is so slow. Funny, I see a snail up there. What is going on? Anyways, the planets revolve around the sun in almost perfect circles, like a big space racetrack. Before traveling to the planets, let's check the sun. It's not a planet, it's a big, hot star. The sun is the captain of our solar system because it keeps all the eight planets revolving around it. It gives us all the light and warmth we need on Earth. Without it, there would be no life. Finally, our first stop is Mercury, the first planet. It's the smallest planet and lives super close to the sun. It's really, really hot during the day. But guess what? At night, it gets freezing cold. Poor Mercury can't decide if it's summer or winter. Here's something cool. A year on Mercury is only 88 Earth days long. That means if you lived there, you'd have a birthday every three months. And guess what else? Mercury has no air, so if you tried to yell, no one would hear you. No air means no sound. Here's Venus, the second planet and Earth's neighbor. It's called Earth's twin because it's about the same size as Earth. But don't be fooled, it's like a grumpy sibling. Venus is covered in thick, poisonous clouds, making it the hottest planet in our solar system. Why is it the hottest, even though it's only the second planet? Those thick clouds trap heat turning Venus into a giant oven. Oh, and here's a fun fact. A day on Venus is longer than a year on Venus. Before we reach Earth, let's stop by its best friend, the Moon. The Moon has been hanging out with Earth for over 4 billion years. It's like Earth's loyal friend in space. Moon is the natural satellite of our Earth. Oh, and here's a fun fact. If you weigh 60 pounds on Earth, you'd only weigh 10 pounds on the moon. Let's wave goodbye and head home to our favorite planet. This is our favorite planet. Smile, we're home. Earth is the third planet from the sun and the only one with trees, animals, you, and, most importantly, pizza. We call Earth the blue planet because of all the water which covers over 70% of its surface. And here's a remarkable fact. Earth is the only planet on which water can be found as a liquid, solid, or gas. Isn't that the best? Earth went all out to ensure it supported all the forms of life. Next stop, Mars. Say hi to the red planet, the fourth from the sun. Mars experiences many dusty storms. It's like the planet's been rolling around in a giant sandbox and forgot to clean up. Mars is also known as the red planet because, well, it's red. This color comes from the large amount of a chemical called iron oxide, or rust as you might know it, in its rocks and soil. Scientists are sending robots there to check if there was ever life. 
Whoa, what's this? Now be ready for a big surprise. Between Mars and Jupiter, we've hit the asteroid belt. It's like a giant ring of space rocks, some as small as pebbles and others as big as mountains. Don't worry, I can dodge them easily. Whoa, look at Jupiter, the fifth planet. It's the heavyweight champ, the biggest planet in our solar system. See that big red spot? That's a giant storm that's been raging for hundreds of years. It's like a hurricane that refuses to leave. Can you imagine that much wind? Better hold onto your hats, or your helmets. Here's something cool, Jupiter has over 95 moons. That's like hosting a family birthday party 95 times one for each family member. And guess what? Jupiter spins so fast that one year on Jupiter is 12 years on Earth. Wow, Saturn looks so fancy with all those rings. It is the sixth planet, and its rings are made of dust, ice, and rocks. Titan is Saturn's largest moon and the second largest in the solar system. Saturn, the second largest planet, is mainly made of gases and has over 150 frozen moons. Saturn's rings make it look like it's wearing a sparkly crown, royalty in space. Saturn has been known since ancient times because it can be seen without advanced telescopes. Next, we have Uranus, the seventh planet. It's so far from the sun that it's basically a giant space ice cream, super cold and icy. And here's something surprising, Uranus spins sideways like it's lying down for a nap while all the other planets are standing up. Maybe it's just tired from being so far away. Finally, we've reached Neptune, the eighth and farthest planet. Its stunning blue color makes it look like a giant ocean, but here's the twist, there's no water, just gas. Neptune's like the planet that plays tricks, blue like the sea, but not a drop to splash in. Here's something even more astonishing. Neptune is called an ice giant, but don't expect to build a snowman here. And get this, it takes Neptune a whopping 165 years to go around the sun. Wait, wait, wait. Do you see what I see? That snail! Not again. What is he doing here? But hold it! He is finally on the right planet. A fantastic space adventure. Which planet was your favorite? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fun learning adventures. Until next time, keep dreaming big and reaching for the stars. Bye!